Soccer mom, soccer mom, does whatever a soccer mom does. Hello once again, Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Wasn't that a snappy intro? Today we're looking at the Super Snap Lindbergh Model Kit. This is the Dodge Caravan from 1998. Now it does say Illinois State Police, but this model, somebody bought it before and they removed all the police items from this. So we're going to have to use a little bit of imagination, but for right now, it this is really just a stock minivan. So without further ado, get on your soccer uniform, grab your soccer ball, and let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. So now it's 1998 and we go all the way back to the soccer field where we have this amazing Dodge Caravan. Now this used to be an Illinois State Police car, like I said, but when I got this model, all the police stuff was gone. So all you can do now is just drive it to soccer practice. This is a skill level one kit, minimal gluing and no paint required. Now here we have a wonderful model made by Alan Osterwiski back in the day. And we also have a bunch of information here like paint and glue is not included. So again, a really, really cool side box art. And on this side of the box, we get another front three quarter view. And really, Lindbergh is weird because they never actually show you pictures of like the interior or any of the features of the model. They just keep sharing that one shot on all corners. Anyway, we get a detailed chassis with complete suspension, chrome plated parts, rubber tires, and a something or other interior. Now there's a piece of tape on the side just so I knew that this was missing the decals, taillights, and police parts. But again, hey, if you can't go to jail, you can at least play soccer! On the bottom of the box we can see all the World Cup soccer fans that are listed here. We've got Japan, France, Germany, Spain, and Italy, as well as the Netherlands. Alright, nothing better than Netherlands soccer. And we also have this nice side three-quarter view of the van. The van is eight inches long in 125th scale, which is enough to put in a whole soccer team and a bunch of soccer balls. Now here we go. Ole, ole, ole. Opening up the model. Ole, ole, ole. All right, so we got our Dodge Caravan instructions, which Danny the dog will take a look at. There's our chrome components right there. Here we got our clear glass. And then we've got our body and interior in this bag. And right here we have all the other white plastic components. And then we've got our tires in the bottom, our axle, and the remainder of our clear parts. So let's clear this away and let Danny the dog check out those instructions. Okay, my turn now. Here we go. Ole, ole, ole. Let us roll. Ole, ole, ole. All right, so if we look at the instructions here for our Dodge Caravan, once again, oh, I'm losing my glasses. Okay, once again, Lindbergh hasn't actually provided a picture of the van, but that's okay, because we know it's a great big soccer van. And just like Ricky Martin sang in La Copa de la Vida, here we go. Ole, ole, ole. Check out that video by just clicking on that link up above. All right, now you see where my nose is here. This is all the symbols you're going to see as you build the model. And um, down below it just says the model is not suitable for children under the age of three because it contains small parts. And um, there's no soccer balls in this, but uh, we can always make some up out of FEMO or something like that. But anyway, let's open these up and take a look at all the wonderful pictures in here of that soccer van. Now here in panel one, we have the interior of our soccer van, and you can see we've got two sets of bench seats with the fronts and backs, and that's a lot of room for carrying all the little kids into soccer practice. And in the back here, we've got cargo compartment for all your soccer uniforms and soccer balls and shoes. And then here we have a partition wall with a partition window, and that is to stop all the sounds of the kids screaming from getting into soccer mom's ears. Panels 2 and 3 show the rest of the interior going together. And in panel 2, we have the dashboard being hooked up. So there we have the top of the instrument panel and our dashboard and CD player so we can listen to Ricky Martin singing La Copa de la Vida. Here we go. Ole, ole, ole. To the soccer game. Ole, ole, ole. All right, and then we've got our instrument face panel decal, which goes in place. And then we've got our steering column and steering wheel. 
and there's a microphone here so that soccer mom can tell the kids in the back to stop screaming. And then as we go down here, we've got our bucket seats in the front with the seat backs in behind and the center console. Now here's a shotgun. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, maybe this is so a soccer mom can shoot the soccer ball, you know, if the uh, kids on the other team get the soccer ball or something. I don't know. I'm just a dog. What do I know? Anyway, we also have our radar antenna. No, I'm just joking. These are all the police package stuff, but they're not in this kit. Anyway, there's our interior all going together. Just perfect for soccer mom. Panel 4 shows the body of the soccer van with our left rear taillight lens housing. And then the red taillight goes on. I guess you do the same on the right hand side. And then there's our glass going up inside as well. In panel 5 we see the body being connected up to that interior. And panel 6 shows the body now going onto the chassis. And then we've got our front fascia right there. And the back hooks into these little slots up in the body there. Now panel 7 shows all the safety equipment like our windshield wipers and our rear view mirrors. So you get the sides and the glass. And then we've got all our headlights and turn signals in here. Actually that's the headlight bezels and then the headlight lenses go inside. And then there's our left hand side mirror. And in panel 8 we get the rear facade going on there. And then we've got this light bar for when we kick the winning goal. And we can all sing, here we go. Ole, ole, ole. There's all the light covers. Ole, ole, ole. They go on the light bar body. Ole, ole, ole. Light bar housing drops on the top. Ole, ole, ole. All right, I'm just kidding. That's more of those police lights that we don't have. But anyway, there's a roof rack for putting on more soccer equipment. Maybe the goalie nets up there. I don't know. And then we've got our spotlight lenses here, which again, we don't actually have. So we're just going to go with that roof rack and drop it on the top. Panel 11 shows our three-piece wheels and tires going together. And then you got the metal axle, which will connect them on each side. And I'm not really sure if this has directional tires. I guess we'll see as we unbox the kit. Actually, as Trevor shows us the plastic parts. But overall, there's your soccer mom van. And here the instruction sheet shows the side view of the police van, but we don't have any of the decals anymore because those are also taken out. So Trevor's just going to move this across. And there's what it would look like if you actually did have those Illinois decals. Now since there are no decals, I'm just going to say goodbye at this point for this video because really I've got nothing to catch up at the end with. So take it away Trevor and uh, kick that ball over the top of the goalpost. All right, Danny, this is the perfect model car body. If you're going to kick that winning goal... Two hours later. Goal! And what we got here is, if we turn this on the... Well, actually, bringing it up, you can see the ribs in the roof up there, which is really awesome. And then we also have the vents up in here. And that front familiar Dodge end for the Soccer Mom Caravan. And there's our wonderful door panels molded in, so you can get the kids in and out of the van nice and easy. As well as a nice body molding down below. There are a bunch of little hooks in here, which will hook onto your front and rear facades. Interesting, there's a crack right there and a crack right there. So I don't know what's going on there, but hopefully that helps to get those side lights in. And then you can see the back in here, the license plate housing. Now this is when they started to widen this up so you could have a European license in there if you wanted to go into the FIFA World Cup or something like that, or just the regular American one, which would be kind of here and here. Now, if we turn the soccer van upside down, there is some scripting up in the roof, as well as some mold marks. There's holes in here that you can drill out for all the police options, as well as holes for your windshield wipers, and even for the side view mirror. So again, we've got this amazing model, all perfect for a goal! Many unbearable hours later. Goal! Oh. And the next part we have is our interior. And look at all this for putting in your little drinking cups for the kids. And there's lots of places for m multiple bench seats. And then we've got all our stuff going here up front. Again, a really excellent work. There's a carpet molded in place here. Not too sure what this slot is for. Maybe some soccer balls or something like that. Oh no, 
That bench seat in the back is shorter because you got to get in that door. That's what the slot is for. That's why it's not over in that corner. Again, really cool stuff if you love these sucker vans. Um, no actual mold marks down below, which is nice. And underneath is nice and smooth, so that will fit very nicely on that chassis. So again, a wonderful work by Lindbergh for a snap soccer van. And next up we have the wonderful chassis here with the spare tower mounted down below. In case one of the real tires blows up, you've got a spare so you can get to that soccer game at 6 in the morning. All right, lifting this up here, we also have our exhaust system molded in place and the fuel tank right there. And again, look at just how wonderful that front cross member is. And we've got our front wheel drive engine all tucked nicely up in here so that we can sing, here we go, ole, ole, ole. <laughs> all right, and then underneath, there's those mold marks. But you know what? There's no flash because you know why? Because Flash played football! <laughs> Next up we have two parts trees, which contain our bench seats in the back for the soccer kids, as well as the luggage rack up top for the soccer luggage. Soccer luggage? You mean the nets and the goalposts and all the rest? Of course I do. Again though, there is nice detail on here. I know I'm joking about this whole soccer mom van thing, but overall, I mean, you can't deny that that is a really nice set of seats for the little kids to be in. Screaming, yelling, saying, Billy stole my soccer jersey, and all that kind of stuff. One does not simply bend it like Beckham. And here we have the front seats for soccer mom and the coach, as well as the seat backs and our steering wheel, steering column, and something that got pulled out of here. Nope, sorry, those are the side mirrors. I thought they were disconnected. Anyway, here we go again. Here we go again. And just check that out. Great detail on there. Great backing. Great steering wheel and great gear selector. Flipping it over, you know, there's no mold marks on here. So again, really excellent work by Lindbergh. Here we have our windshield wipers, the partition wall, the police shotgun, and the center console. Now I do believe that center console has actually got all the police radio equipment, because when we bring it up, you can see a lot of buttons on there. That would be the computer equipment and the radio stuff. Again, the shotgun is nice, so you might want to pirate these out for other things. I do believe this is the siren right here. Yep. I thought that would be chrome, but I guess not. And there's that microphone for the CB radio and the partition wall. But really what we need for Soccer Mom's van is the windshield wipers, potentially the partition wall, because nobody wants to listen to the soccer kids screaming as you're driving from one state to the next. And on this parts tree, we have our two-piece dashboard, which is nice because you get the front so you can easily paint all this up, and then you add on the top as you go. Now, I don't have the decal for the gauges, so I'll have to make something up, I guess. There's our wheel backs and then the rear and front fascia. So now let's just bring this up. Now, you can always put a CD player in here and listen to Ricky Martin singing La Copa de la Vida, the soccer song. That's what it's been known as. Here we go. Ole, ole, ole. Kick the soccer ball. Ole, ole, ole. And then down here we've got the heater with all the controls. So again, that's pretty cool. And a spot to put your coffee mugs, I guess. Or your map. Your map for the soccer game. Actually, your soccer program for the uh, year. And then there you've got the top with your speakers and your air, your heater for the front windshield and all the rest. And then there's that front fascia. Again, really excellent work by Lindbergh on the soccer van. And here we have our chrome components, which I do believe Lindbergh captured nicely. Oh, we do have these side mirrors and, or actually the spotlights. And it looks like the little spotlight braces as well. So I do have some of the police stuff, but whoever had this before did take out the light bar, which would have been there. Look at those nice wheels. Again, really excellent work. And then we've got our tail lamp bezels and our front headlamp bezels, as well as these side mirrors. Now, if I'm talking a little bit strange again, it's because I've had a tooth removed, a molar, 
And it's sort of hard to talk because I want to say something and it's coming out the side instead of out the front. But overall, the chrome on here is really nice and I hope you enjoy it. And here we have our clear components for our van. Now sadly this was never put in a bag for me, so it's all scratched up in the front windshield, but I'll have to use some of that uh, car wax in order to clear it all up. And that won't be too hard to do. You also get the turn signal lenses up in here. There's that partition wall glass, as well as the little lenses for the spotlights, and our rear red tail lamps. Say that ten times fast. Again, now here, bringing it into the camera, you can see the nice molding around there. Looks like the real thing, only smaller. And again, those front lamps are pretty neat. They're kind of a little more smooth. They don't quite have that uh, light texture in there, but maybe they don't need to. The windows, the only ones that are rolled down are the ones up front for the soccer coach and the mom. So again, that's really nice. Lindbergh did a good job with the glass. Finally, we have our rubber tires and our metal axles down here for our van. Now these are Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires as they would say. Um, now, what's interesting about these is if you watched my video on the uh, Ford police car, the Crown Vic from 97, you'll notice that the tread pattern is exactly the same. The only difference is those were Goodyear's and this is Michelin. So again, really kind of strange. And on the inside, there is Michelin on both sides. So actually, that's good. Now, these tires are really narrow again, so you might be able to swap them out for some from like a 64 Chevy Impala or something like that if you wanted to modify the Impala and make it have tires from the 90s. But overall, again, these will get you to the game. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that great look at our Soccer Mom van as we checked out our Lindbergh Super Snap 1998 Dodge Caravan. Now, if you've built one of these great model kits back in the past, it looks like it would just snap together really easily. Of course, being skill level one. Now, if you built one in the past, let us know in the comment section down below how you liked it. I, I'm assuming yours came with all the police stuff. So, uh, yeah, that would be great. And if you enjoy these great unboxing videos, check in every Friday. And also check our backlog of videos. You'll find some great stuff there. So until next time, everyone, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you in the next video.